about uh, 5.30, 5, 5.30, but today I got a doctor's appointment, so I got to sleep in a little bit. Well, at least until 5.45. Ooh, it is raining. Not that hard, but hard enough. And yes, I have uh, non-wireless earbuds. Yeah, I've made it this long in my life without wireless earbuds. I'm sure I'll get a pair at some point. Maybe Raycon can sponsor me. Oh, let's try not to get ran over. All right, keep moving. Mile one. I was doing six miles a day, but I blew my knees out. Actually, I didn't blow them out. That's a heavy turn. Let's just say I started running into some knee problems. As long as I keep it reasonable and... Well, we'll see. I'll be back to running again shortly here, but I've had to kind of restart the whole process. and. Two miles now, the rain's starting to come down a little bit harder, kind of sucks. Yeah, it's really coming down now. Let's see, a nice layer of wet everywhere. That's all right. My favorite question that people ask me when I walk is, what do you do when it rains? You get wet. this thing up. Burn up the third mile now. And we'll get home and get cleaned up. And now we're off to the doctor. So after this appointment is over, we'll pick back up and we'll be heading back to the hot rod shop. I've got a small space I keep uh, some extra things in. I don't have a lot of square footage in my shop slash garage that I do my welding and motorcycle work in and I need to pretty much keep everything I can uh, there that's critical and I got a small place off site that I store everything that's a little bit bigger and just takes up too much room it's, uh, it's like 300 square foot it's not a it's not a huge spot but it's big enough for what I need we're on our way there now and we'll drop this stuff off and then we'll get to the shop I've shown this car on the channel before. Everyone's familiar with it. Right now it's up here because we don't have room for it at the other garage slash shop space. So when we do free up a few things and that one's coming back too. So as you can see, there's plenty to work on. Probably have a few uh, hundreds of thousands of videos worth of content just it's just already here. So stay tuned.
big on T5s. There was actually a, uh, a local guy who did a lot of T5 work and uh, Rob bought them out completely. So we have, uh, well, I'll just show you. We are kind of the T5 depot right now. We do full rebuilds on all of them and we bring the cores up here and we're actually getting this organized. We're gonna be building an entire transmission station up here to where Rob and the guys can build transmissions to order using either stock or G-Force internals. And uh, yeah, if you need a T5, this is where they all are. And here we are at the hot rod shop. It's late in the day. Been here for a little while. We've been working on stuff in the uh, QuickBook systems, trying to get everything reconciled with uh, deposits and everything, trying to get caught up on stuff from there. Uh, not a whole lot of excitement. Uh, well, there's always a lot of excitement going on around here, but uh, not a whole lot that I'm going to show you. Uh, Thomas is working on some, uh, was using the bead rolling, got it to a really corner where he couldn't get the spin around. The throat wasn't long enough, and it's a huge bead roller, but this panel was just a little too long, so he's back there finishing up by hand. Wife has a uh, has an entire dinner in there cooking, and it is delicious. Kind of goes along with what I talked about this morning. It is turkey burgers, and I know everyone always says turkey burgers. They don't even taste like hamburgers. They're not supposed to. They're turkey burgers. They're completely different animal. They're not supposed to taste like hamburgers, but they're really good. At least I think so. It's the way my wife makes them. They're fantastic. Turkey burgers and onion rings. Dinner of champions. Oh, turkey burgers. Well, I finally got to tear the uh, heads off of the 302. And um, well, it's YouTube, so I'm gonna share the wins and the losses. And uh, so I'll show you both. So. This is the uh, the winning side here, and you can see that there's some, I mean, there's obviously a lot of crud in there, a lot of sludge, a lot of buildup, but nothing that can't be, nothing that couldn't be kind of resolved on this side. Sorry, I'm probably squeezing it a little too far. So this side, potential win. Now, the other side, we'll call this here the left side of the block, the driver's side of the block. These rear two cylinders, not bad. Still kind of looking like the other side, cruddy, disgusting. However, here's the loss side. And you can see there is some good amount of buildup on the inside of those cylinder walls. See if I can get that to focus a little better. 
There we go. Yeah, those are some mountains in there. It just was in the wrong spot. And I noticed there was a little bit of mud on this side in the first place. So, but yeah, I think uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep pulling it apart. And I'm not sure the machine shop's going to be able to do much for that. But uh, well, we're going to have to rebuild whatever block we get. So it may be back to Facebook Marketplace or uh, back to uh, Craigslist or shoot, we'll just order a block. But either way. I think that's, uh, I think this one here is going to be at best a spare block and, uh, oh, well, you win some and you lose some on things like that block. And, uh, I got it from a buddy of mine. So we really weren't sure what the situation was with it in the first place. So it, uh, it was kind of a, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It was an unknown situation. It was an unknown variable and, uh, but we wanted to crack it open and see what it was. So. Luckily, we don't have a lot invested in it. It's not that big of a deal. We can uh, get another block if we need to. We'll get it checked out and see what they say. And, uh, you know, even if it turns out to be bad, uh, we're not out of anything, really. So, either way, we're going to keep moving forward, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. But I'm going to call it a night from here and uh, go in and get cleaned up and get ready for tomorrow. So, I will see you in the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye.